This is a 6,500 RPM, 427 cubic inch, supercharged twin turbo Duramax, and it's headed to the dyno. Welcome back to the Banks Power Engine Shop. I'm Gail Banks. I want to walk you through what's going on on the front of this engine. And then we'll get to a few other interesting things. There are two systems, the blower drive and the accessory drive. The blower drive is an eight millimeter pitch, 75 millimeter wide timing belt system. It's a two to one overdrive. So when the engine's at 6,300, the blower's at 12.6. Our accessory drive, and this is a quick note, this is our dyno setup. It will be different in the truck. This is a eight millimeter pitch as well, 30 millimeter wide belt. And here's what we're driving off this system. First thing is the power steering pump. Now this is a commercial hydraulic pump, very similar to what's being used by all the teams in monster truck. The guys commonly drive them at about crankshaft speed off the nose of the crank on the Chevy 540 inchers. They also commonly fail the pumps. So we thought we'd drive it a little slower. The problem being if we get too slow, you won't have enough steering assist. It's out front to give us good access to the hydraulic fittings in and out of the pump. And on the dyno, it will be running and pumping into a tank. The other reason it's out front is that it turns opposite the crankshaft rotation. So if we put it behind the FIAD plate, and FIAD is front engine accessory drive, uh, if we put it behind the FIAD plate, it would turn the wrong direction, and we'd launch, the, we'd launch the pump right away. Second item we're driving here is the fuel injection pump its, itself. And this is on the back side of the plate. You can see the Bosch pump. This is a 14 millimeter stroker from S&S Diesel Motorsports, and I'm hoping for 1,400 horsepower out of this thing at nominally 6,300 to 6,500 RPM. This single pump should carry the day. We're driving the pump slightly slower than crankshaft speed to keep it in its efficiency range. And oh, by the way, prior to this setup, we had a two-pump setup, but I hadn't talked to Andrew at S&S about what we could do with one pump. He told me he can do this 14 millimeter stroker. Let's try one pump. We're doing one pump, which gave us room to put an alternator on this thing. So the third thing we're driving is this 370 amp Elite Series Mechman alternator. So the drive system, crank, hydraulic pump, idler, fuel injection pump, belt tensioning idler, Mechman idler crank. So when you accelerate, it's instant response and no slip. So I bet you're wondering, what's with the four big ass filters? Well, these are the same big ass filters you get in a Banks Ram Air system for an L5P GM pickup. We're using four of them because we have four MAF sensors for mass airflow. Our four inch MAF sensor has a six inch inlet, bell mouth down to four, and they will go to about 62 to 65 pounds of air per minute per MAF sensor. We predict that we're gonna need a little more than three of them and probably a little less than four of them to measure the mass airflow for this setup. So we made it a special right hand and left hand manifold to feed these 6870 precision turbos. So based on our previous running on this monster truck engine in Dyno 1 and killing a Duramax L5P in Dyno 2, we estimate we're gonna need somewhere between 220 to 250 pounds of air per minute 
to make our 1400 horsepower. So each one of these MAF sensors maxes out right at 65 pounds per minute. So the four of them would give us a maximum of 260 pounds per minute. So if you're new to this program, you've got a lot of catching up to do. There's videos covering from the very beginning, but let me bring you up to speed. This is a monster truck engine project. It's a diesel. Turbo diesels, even compounded, however you do it, don't throttle instantly. The blower gives us the instant throttle. This worked for me at Pikes Peak, blower and turbo. In fact, this five liter Whipple is the exact size we ran on Pikes Peak, but in that case, the turbo blew into a monstrous turbocharger from that to a huge intercooler in the nose of the Freightliner, which we sprayed water on to super chill the air-to-air -air charge air cooler. Fire it all. all about throttle response. The blower is in this program because it gives you virtually instant throttle response. That's imperative in a monster truck. Those guys are doing all kinds of, if you will, vehicular ballet. If you think drifting a, a truck is an art form, you ain't seen nothing. <laughs> This engine is also serving as a test bed for a marine engine. More on that later. So let's get this baby in the dyno for a first fire. Stay tuned. Let me show you to your new room. You're gonna love it, I promise.